Okay, hello dear friends. Let me turn off the fire. Okay, that is good. So I went to local market and uh, we bought some beef shank. So this is the muscle part of the beef. And um, the other day I did some cooking and uh, some friends asked me about the recipe so we will do exactly the same thing you can take a look it's really 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 about recipe you you ask me so much about uh, oh, oh, this is not good okay you uh, a lot of friends ask about recipe i just cannot uh, cannot be more precise about it it's not about recipe. The power is in the fire. So I cut some ginger. Very rough. Cut some ginger, put it in. Put in the pot. I didn't put any cooking oil just yet. And uh, some onion doesn't hurt not so necessary not a must if you are not a, a, an onion person and we have it so i want to get rid of it clean it up okay i'm sorry i have not yet put any uh, oil in now we cut some onion so it's not so splashing. relatively thin or lean, not too much fat in it. So the rest, it's time to say hello. Okay, now let's say hello. Too much plastic, I feel bad for it. But, um, but, um, I still want to eat some meat, that is the problem. Nothing, there is nothing. It's just to say hello. Hello. Nothing, there is nothing, just to say hello. Bye bye. Hello. Okay, and now open it up. Put it in. You can also do it like this. Bye bye. Okay. Now we put cooking oil. Hello. Bye bye. What do you think? From Chicago mushroom will do good. Let's put some Chicago mushroom. Give me one second. The top of this not fixed.
Okay, this mushroom with the tea. And that's about it. The rest is the fire. Put it for a long time. Ooh, my tripod is not really stable. And five spines. I have, I have some five spines. Doesn't hurt to put it in. And uh, I have some um, Montreal steak seasoning. Doesn't hurt because we got it from uh, um, Costco. We got it from Costco. Okay. Now we put. Um, yes, we can put the beef in. After some time, we turn it over and now put in the pinyoni. You can put cooking oil, you can put uh, red wine, and wine. And soy sauce. Get the bottle in. Uh -oh. This is very, very salty. It's not for just to eat like that. It's not a main course about it. And I have some yogurt. Why? Why not? Can use as a, a kind of salt, a, a vinegar. Now, cover it up. This one is Creuset, and we got it in France. One of the year we went to France and uh, People exchange gift, and uh, this is a gift we got. You know, we we leave, and it's so oh sorry, it's so heavy. Just holding the oh my god, see my muscle. I need to use all my muscle to see my muscle to to lift it up. So it's very heavy. And uh, French, they are very, very serious about uh, their cooking utensils. And we went to France and uh, put it in our luggage and bring it back. And we have uh, uh, used it very, very often and uh, no turning back. Why it is good? Because it's heavy and uh, the heat does not go out. And the, the lid is very heavy. It uh, produces a kind of not pressure cook. You know, pressure cook, sometimes you lose the flavor of the taste. A lot of time you use pressure cooker. It smells oh, so good. But when you eat it, it's not so, so tasty because high temperature kills the flavor. Same as low temperature, extreme cold freeze, food loses temperature, and extreme hot, the food does not lose its temperature. But this one is a slow cook, very slow fire, and um, now I put in slow, and it's just slowly softening everything, all the flavor get in, and no... Uh, good flavor, no uh, uh, smells coming out. 
it's all inside it's very heavy and sometimes you could i heard people put ice on it and um, i have tried one time i think there must be some problem with it that person cannot sink straight imagine the pot is hot and you put ice on it of course it will melt but it does make sense if you put cold water or ice and then the then it becomes uh, um, the, the the heat inside touch the cold surface become a kind of water drop and get the flavor all enclosed inside makes sense anyway this one we will leave it for two three four hours in very 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 low fire and uh, in the middle every half an hour or something you turn it around and that's it easy peasy lemon squeeze okay let's have a sneak peek it is like this one hour later we come back okay <laughs> So this is around four hours later, and uh, I actually did not move that much. And it becomes soft, and uh, you can take out uh, the, the meat, and you can press it open. But the fiber is long, right? So it's better to let it cool down. Now you, you, you push it, it becomes so soft, but the fiber is long. When it is cold, the meat is relatively firm, and then cut cross section, and then the fiber is, <clears throat> is shorter, it's easy for you to eat. Okay, that's it. Bon appetito. Okay, I took one piece out because I just cannot wait until it is totally, uh, <clears throat> totally cold down. It's still hot, and uh, let's see if I can cut it. Here is the camera. Let's take a look. Oh gosh, it's not easy to, because it's too hot. So uh, knife is overrated. You do not need this knife. Uh, you can just uh, pull it very soft. But this knife, when it is cold, use a thin, sharp knife so that you can cut open the fiber. And uh, that is it. You can see the tender burger. Bon appetito.